Hello, my name is Amy Brinkerhoff, and I am the SHIP and SMP coordinator for the Area Agency on Aging Five County. Today, I wanna to talk to you about turning 65 and starting out on Medicare. When you turn 65, you have what's called your initial enrollment period into Medicare A, B, and a prescription drug plan. That enrollment period is a seven month window. It begins three months before you turn 65, extends the month of your 65th birthday, and continues three months after you turn 65. In that first three month window, if you join Medicare A and B during that initial three months, your coverage starts the first day of the month that you turn 65. If you join in the month that you turn 65, your coverage begins the first of the following month. And if you wait until that three months after your 65th birthday, then your enrollment is delayed. Now you might use this delayed method if you have um, a COBRA plan or a retirement plan that's ending a little bit down the road, but you want to have your Medicare start. If you enroll in these three months after your 65th birthday, you do not pay any sort of penalty. You have in this initial enrollment period, you can enroll in Medicare Part A, Medicare Part B, a Medicare Advantage plan if you choose, and or a Medicare prescription drug plan. And you may also choose your Medigap policy if you want to take one. A Medigap open enrollment policy lasts for the first six months after you are eligible for Medicare A and B. So you could start your A and B now or immediately and still wait a few more months to add your prescription sorry, excuse me, your Medigap policy down the road. There are some instances where you may not want to join Medicare when you turn 65. If you are still working or your spouse is still working and you are covered by employer group health insurance, you may not need or want to join Medicare right now if your employer health insurance is less expensive or better than the coverage you get under Medicare. Note that that only works for active employer group health insurance. It doesn't work if it's a retiree plan. It doesn't work if you have any other sort of insurance like through a former employer or through the VA, those don't count. It has to be employer group health insurance for you to use this special enrollment. Now this special enrollment period ends, begins when your coverage from your current employer or your spouse's current employer ends and extends for eight months afterwards to get Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B. Your enrollment period only goes for 63 days if you want a Medicare Advantage plan or a prescription drug plan from the time that you enroll in A and B, you have 63 days to do the Medicare Advantage or the prescription drug plan. If you would like a Medigap policy, you have six months from the effective date of your Part B to buy a Medigap policy where it's guaranteed issue, which means they can't ask you health questions or turn you down because of poor health. If you use this enrollment period, there's no late enrollment penalty, and you can use this anytime when you lose your employer-based health group health insurance. There are other types of insurance that do not allow you that special enrollment period. So if you're covered under a pension plan, some sort of retiree plan, keep in mind that does not count 
as employer group health insurance and you would not be entitled to that special enrollment period. If you have questions about enrolling in Medicare and when you should or should not delay that start in Medicare, feel free to contact the SHIP program. Our uh, phone number is 435-673-3548. And we'll continue our video series in a couple of days with another video on choosing a Medigap or a Medicare Advantage plan and how to determine which one is the best one for you.